Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Wednesday, it's another upload. We are on episode 9. We have Basel or Old Trafford. A lot of changes again, although we sneakily come through in the away leg of all my changes. I'm going to be doing the same thing because when we come back from ba when we come back after playing Basel, sorry, we have Manchester City in the Premier League away and we need a good result after losing to Norwich and drawing against Liverpool in episode 8. And so the team at Old Trafford to face Basel in the fourth game, I believe, in the Europa League. In Garlo, Greenwood, Bruno, Chong, Fred, Scott McTominay, Bruno, sorry, Brandon Williams, Maguire, Transabi, Dilop and Romero in goal. So here we are, the wonderful sights of Old Trafford for this Europa League match. Basel are the visitors who were 3-0 down to Manchester United in the return leg. And almost caught United back, but United winning that game at 3-2 in the end. And Manchester United are not afraid to make the changes, and they have made more again today. So will this be routine, United victory being at home at Old Trafford? Or will Basel again cause an upset, or try and cause an upset with this change United lineup? And it is Manchester United to kick off at home. Will we see goals? We've seen plenty of changes. Bruno's kept his place. Greenwood has kept his place. And Maguire has kept his place. Everyone else has had a change. Scott McTominay gets another run out. Fred this time has come in. So not, not as weak in midfield, if you call it weak, when they had Garner on. Here is Delo to Chong. Oh, it's a free kick. Did he catch him? Oh, I think he got the ball. I think Manchester United have been lucky to get the call there. Bruno, go for goal. Or cross it in. And he has gone for goal. And it wasn't as excited as my voice. Well, well done, Chong. To Ingalo. That's lovely from the youngster. And Ingalo to Greenwood. And Bruno to Fred, who made the run. And Ingalo's there. And Ingalo has gone back. To Bruno Fernandes. It's a lovely save. United corner. I think Ingalo probably should have shot being a striker, but he tipped it back out to Greenwood. And Bruno, as he has been ever since the season started, been absolutely brilliant for Manchester United. And here he is with the set piece. Oh, and who was that? Ingalo couldn't get his header down. Shame. It's a good chance for Manchester United in Ingalo. Scoring four goals, two in this one. Sorry, two in the reverse fixture. Oh, that's well played, Fred. Brilliant. That's a lovely ball as well. To Bruno, to Greenwood. To Matomoli now. Back to Bruno. Scott to Delo. Nice football for Manchester United. Bruno's calling for it to feet. He receives it. Fred to Greenwood. That's a lovely ball back. Chong now and Delo. I think the overlap would have been the better. And Bruno, it's a lovely ball. And that's a lovely ball back to Greenwood. And this is some excellent, excellent play for Manchester United. That's another wonderful save. A rare attempt from Fred. Chong back to Bruno. To Fred. To Bruno. Luckily. To Greenwood. To Ingalo. Oh. Oh no. Not this time, says the referee. I think Ingalo was trying to put it back to Greenwood. 
Fair challenge as the referee. And United try again. Oh, Brandon Williams. Fred might have to help Brandon here. Wow, and that is why Basel's first attempt, and it was close. And here it is again. It was a quick cross in, and he got in front of Twanzebe, and I think Romero had it covered. And the captain of Basel was close. And they can hurt Manchester United. It's another switch. Brandon should get there, but he hasn't. Another poor bit of positioning. And there they go again on that right-hand side. Manchester United is left. And Weiss. Well, Harry Maguire let, let it, lets it float over his head. I thought maybe he could have um, got his head on that. Or well, maybe it went away from him. Maybe I'm being harsh on Maguire there. And again, in the last couple of minutes, Basel have had two attempts. They may only have 36% of the possession, but they are causing Manchester United problems. And this is what happens when you change a lot of the personnel. Not used to the rhythm. Chong back to Ingalo. Ah, it's a lovely bit of skill, Ingalo. Oh, and he's hit the post. That's very unlucky. But United should be 1-0 up. For the man who scored four goals already in this competition, he should have had his fifth. And Manchester United's first. But here comes Darlow. Oh, and Garlo again is hovering. The ball doesn't reach him. It's brilliant from Bruno. Fred now. He can run. That's brilliant. To Ingalo. Chong. Oh, and the finish wasn't there. The passing and the moving was. The old Trafford faithful giving that a round of applause. It was nice. And the finish just let the kid, the young lad, down. But they're getting closer. Bruno. Greenwood. Ingalo. That is lovely. Oh, trying to find Chong again. Maybe Bruno is the better ball. Oh, it's a mistake, though. And it's given Ingalo another chance. This time to Bruno Fernandes from long range. Whiskers away. Getting closer and closer, Manchester United. Well, the camera angle wasn't that great, but it was close. Oh, and it's half-time. It's Manchester United nil, Basel nil. Manchester United have hit the post, but Basel have had two headers that on another on another day could have made Marrero work. But it is nil-nil, and Basel will get us underway in the second half. No changes from either side. Another early ball in. Oh, and he's taking it down. It's the third attempt from the captain, their striker up front. He's been a bit of a menace for Twans and Zabi. He just loses his mark up. That's a good effort. I think it's the old Norwich striker, if I'm not mistaken. Van something. I'm not great with names, so I won't try and butcher it, but I believe that's who it is. That's well done. That's lovely. Fred with another long range effort. And again, the Basel goalkeeper. Fantastic save. Good play for Manchester United. Not hurrying it. All these long range efforts are on target and making the goalkeeper work. Man United are knocking on the door. Bit of free kick corner this time, Ingalo, no, and again he hasn't hit the target, oh, and game with DK knows, that was a huge chance to keep the, oh, just over the bar, to keep their winning streak going in, uh, it would be four wins, I can't remember now if this is the fourth or fifth game, but either way, if May United win this, they'll be unbeaten in their group, here come Basel though, Oh, Delo, that was excellent defending. Really well done. Chong, Ingalo, to Greenwood. 
Back to Ingalo. To Chong. He needs his way in. Darlo. Ingalo! Oh, he's hit the bar now. Oh, what a wonderful bit of play. And Ingalo has hit the post in the first half. And now the crossbar. Rashford has been warming up. And he has come on for Ingalo. Ingalo has not scored today. But he's hit the post and the crossbar. Fred. Another long range effort for Fred. Oh, and the deflection. It's another corner. And Greenwood. Just trying to win the header. It's good defending again from Basel. It's another corner. Can Rashford do anything? Coming on and looking for Greenwood again. Fred again. No. Chong. And another save. Brilliant from the Basel goalkeeper. Fred. That's wonderful. Chong surely. Oh, and he's missed it. Oh, what a shame. That was some wonderful football. Greenwood with the pressure. Fred straight into Marcus Rashford with a lovely touch. And Chong. Oh, he's not going to want to see that again. Oh, man, United should be 1-0 up. To Brandon Williams. To Greenwood. Oh, that was audacious. And it's got to Darlow, who's giving it. And Marcus Rashford, who's just come on, and he hits the post. That's the third time. Manchester United can't believe it. Lovely play. Marcus Rashford spun the defender. And he's rattled the woodwork. He needs a goal. And we're in injury time. One more minute. That was the chance to get all three points. Fred looking for Chong. Oh, Chong. And that is nil-nil. Not the greatest game. It, didn't, it doesn't matter to Manchester United to drop their first points to Open League. That's their fifth game. Four wins and a draw. So we check the other results. Obviously, we drew. Uh, the other group, the other teams in my group, sorry, it's 1 0 to the German side. Seville winning 3 0. Uh, a draw there. Torino drawing. Hearts losing. RB Leipzig winning. And Bromby losing. By Leverkusen drawing. Lazio winning. Wolves winning 3 0. Aberdeen losing. They're probably out now, aren't they? Another draw there and a win for Kiev. Rome drawing, or Roma, sorry, drawing. Dortmund winning quite easily. Everton winning and Espanyol. So, sorry, that was our fourth game. We've played three. It was either four or five, but we've played four games now. Unbeaten, scoring eight, letting in two. So, as you could probably guess, Martial, Rashford, Bruno, Greenwood, Pogba, Scott Matomini, because uh, Matic, his form is not very good. Shaw, Maguire, Bay, and wan with David Haye in goal is the team that I'll be taking Manchester United into our first derby game at the Etihad. So, here we go. Manchester City, Manchester United, the first derby of the season at the Etihad. Who, which Manchester club can do the bragging rights for their fans on Monday morning? Will it be a classic? Will they cancel each other's out? But here they come from the Etihad Tunnel. Company is captain. I'm not really sure if he should be there. I'm not sure that's all about. But Man City have got all the big guns out. And I think Delph is at Man City as well. I don't know. I can't. He's at Everton. So I'm not really sure what. This data pack's all about, but oh well, there you go. Manchester City, Aguero, always the one to look out for. And who have? So it's Aguero, Silva, Sterling, good again, Delph. And it's Mendy, Stones, Company, Walker, and Ed Edison in goal. Manchester United, Martial, Rashford, Greenwood, Bruno, Pogba, Scott McTominay, Mamba Saka, Bay, Maguire, Short, and David Ahaya.
So it's City to kick us off in this first half in the first Manchester derby of the season. Oh, that's a great block and already a minute in Manchester City get a corner. Kevin De Bruyne up, so good. Aguero, oh my word. What an effort. And Manchester United have not cleared their line. Bruno Silva, oh, what a finish. Manchester United have had an awful start to this derby. And Silva with a wonderful finish. Manchester United didn't clear their lines. Bruno Fernandes... It's not often we've said this so far. It's a great save, but there, he just kicked it at Rashford, who couldn't get it out. And Silva pivoted and smashed it in. And De Gea, with a fine save there from Aguero, couldn't match that from Silva's effort. It came at him so quick. But United are 1-0 down at the Etihad. So, City have only just kicked off three minutes later. Manchester United are kicking off because they're 1-0 down. Awful start. Look at Aguero. Look at the space. And De Gea has to come out and does. Greenwood. Oh, and Bruno again. He's on waiting for the pass. And this time Aguero, it's going to be two. And it is. Manchester United have been absolutely destroyed. And Greenwood, again, is at fault with an awful pass. But you have to say, Bruno didn't go towards the ball. It's almost like Sunday League football. When your parents are shouting at you from the touchline, go towards the ball, don't wait for it. And that's what Bruno did. And Maguire was never going to get there. And Aguero is never going to miss. A wonderful finish. Absolutely wonderful start. Sterling with a fantastic pass. And Aguero says thanks very much. And it's Derby Day misery so far for Manchester United. It's City 2-0 after 18 minutes. To Rashford, to Greenwood, who's got a bit of grass to run onto. Probably the first time in the match. Oh, and he does get shoved off the ball so easily. Oh, lucky Luke Shaw read that. Oh dear, and Bay and Sterling read it. Back to Sterling, 3 0 on its curtains. And De Gea again. Now Rashford. Yeah, lovely pass. And surely Greenwood, and he's lost the ball. Oh, and he hit us. Oh, my word. What has Greenwood done there? If he had kept on running. I mean, the ball could have been better if it wasn't. It's not all Greenwood's fault. Martial could have played the ball across better. But it should be at least 2-1. Awful miss to allow Mendy to get in front of Greenwood for a tap-in. And Man City are dominating the play. There's a corner. Look how quick they're on Manchester United. Oh, and Aguero's got a tap-in. It is free. And... I don't want to say it, but I think it's curtains. Is there any offside shout? I don't think there is. A couple of Man United players are hoping, but they're not going to get it. And Man City are celebrating like this is one. Scott McTominay loses the ball in midfield. De Gea does well with the save. And unfortunately for him, it's gone straight to the lethalist man on the pitch and probably in the league. Aguero will be second. 
easy. Oh dear. And Manchester United are on their way to lose their second game of the season. But this one's going to hurt more. It's against the rivals. It's the derby. Martial trying to find Greenwood. And once again, a misplaced pass. And that's probably going to be it. Or a Man City going to get another chance before half-time. Oh, Sterling has absolutely mugged off wan -Bissaka. But Luckily, Bruno Fernandes come in and that will probably be half-time. Yeah, and it's been awful if you're a Manchester United fan. Manchester City 3, Manchester United 0. No changes for Manchester United, but they need to change their attitude. Because the stats were Man City having 10 shots, 8 on target, Manchester United nothing. But here's Paul Pogba. Oh, and for the first shot, it wasn't far away. And they need a lifeline. They need something. I mean, will Manchester City give up a free goal lead in a derby? I find it hard to believe. It's better. Oh, Bruno's got caught. Delph. Yellow card. It was late. It's the first card of the derby. Oh, yeah, Scissor challenged him there. Goes to Maguire. Here's Bruno. Rashford. Luke Short. That's the first time they've overlapped. Uh, Martial's in the middle. And here's Rashford. Oh no. Pogba. And it's another late challenge for Delph. And oh, why wasn't that challenge a second yellow? Delph needs to be careful. That's beautiful. Oh, on the deflection. Well, this is more like it from Manchester United. They've got a corner. They're first of the game. Oh, and game with DK knows he needs to get a goal if he's going to get anything out of this. This is much better. Quick football. Doesn't matter who you are. It's going to be difficult to defend against. Luke Shaw. Oh, looking for Greenwood, I think it was. But wait a minute. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, straight out, Anderson. Well, at least they've had a shot on target. It's taken the 60th minute. But at least Manchester United are showing a bit more fight in this second half. Cowards in the first half. It's a strong word. But that's what a lot of, a lot of player, pundits and fans are going to say. Cowardly performance in the first half. Martial has been really poor today. Well, to be fair, all the Man United players have. It's a bit unfair to pick just one. Nice shout. Bruno. Greenwood. Oh, we got... Sh oh, well done. Well done, Mendy. That is fantastic defending. Beautiful. And Mendy's coming off for Laporte. Not a bad replacement. Greenwood must have thought he could be scoring his first goal against Manchester City but Mendy had other ideas really well played Pogba to Luke Shaw back to Pogba to Bruno to Martial oh he's just gone through the back of him is that the port or John Stones it's another yellow and it is Stones it's the second yellow not really sure why Stones thought he could win that ball he wasn't going anywhere yeah tackle from behind he might have touched the ball, but you can't go through a player. And Bruno Fernandes, will he fancy it? Bruno Fernandes! Edison needs something more special to beat this goalkeeper from that range. They're taking it quick, Manchester United. Oh dear, now Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, going in now, and it's the third yellow card for Man City. And this time De Bruyne picks one up. Late. Oh, you know, I can't even pass the ball again. It's almost like the first half. They've run out of legs. 
Bruno's try and look. Two minutes. And to some United fans, it cannot come quick enough. It has been an awful day at the office and another challenge from David Silva. That will be a yellow card. Delph. Should he be on the pitch? Clearly takes out Greenwood. Marcus Rashford to Luke Shaw. To Paul Pogba. Oh, that's probably the best bit of play they've done all game. And it's coming the 90th minute, 92nd minute. And Manchester United against the top six. Drew with Liverpool at home and getting absolutely trashed by Manchester City at the head. It has finished 3-0. All the goals coming in in the first half. Manchester United played with a bit better in the second half, but overpowered, outdone, outfought. Manchester City completely in control from the third minute. It's ended, it's ended at the Etihad 3-0. Well, quite frankly, an awful episode. But City beating us 3-0. Liverpool winning. Everton beating Norwich. Watford winning against Wolves. Southampton winning 1-0 against Sheffield United. Burnley 2, Villa 2. West Ham winning. Spurs are winning. Chelsea are lost at Stamford Bridge against Brighton. And Arsenal losing at home to Newcastle. So here is the table. Our last three games, we have lost, drew and lost. It's been poor. Tottenham, though, are top. Will they stay there in my Master League or will they be bottlers like in real life? We'll have to wait and see. Everton are second. City and Liverpool are now third and fourth after their poor starts. Arsenal are fifth and we are sixth. Chelsea struggling on 12th and Palace now, Villa and Bournemouth are your relegated team. So as I said in the end of last episode, playing Man City was our 10th game. So I was going to show you the goal rankings and the assists. Obviously, you've just seen the league. And with me gifting Aguero two goals, he is now top goal scorer with 11. Martial was on 9. Lucas Moura, 6 with uh, Salah. Kane, Bomiang, Will Hughes. And Drood are all on five. And then Greenwood, Richarlison, Houllier, Barnes, Martinho, Giza from Brighton and Madison are all on four. So your top assists of the season so far after 10 games, Gomez of Everton is up there with five goals. Bruno there with four. I thought it'd be high, to be fair. If you want to pause and have a look, there you go. So thank you very much for watching episode 9. It was, well, no goals scored and three conceded in the derby against City. Awful, really. So episode 10, let's hope we can get a result against Leicester at Old Trafford. And then we're at the Fatality Stadium versus Bournemouth. Episode 10, back-to-back -back Premier League games. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the... Thank you for the likes. Thank you for again, like I said in the other episode, for watching for a few seconds or the whole way through. Really means a lot. It's just a nice little hobby. I just like to share my Master League and how I play. Hopefully you are enjoying it, whoever's watching. Thank you for the new subscribers. And I'll see you for episode 10. Thank you very much.